Hey, this is Patosha Jeffrey, the girls basketball trainer. And recently I asked the question to my girls basketball weekly tip readers about what is their biggest problem in uh, basketball. And shockingly, the biggest problem was that it was basically mindset, confidence, uh, attitude. And so it, that's really, really shocking to me because when I decided that I wanted to help um, with girls basketball that I wanted to help you know train and 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 things like that it was really you know I thought it was all about the skills you know the, the ball handling the shooting things like that um, and it was really shocking to see how much young ladies need help needed help with the mind the mindset and to be honest it shouldn't have been as shocking because, um, you know, I had the same problem, especially when I got to college. Um, somewhat in high school, um, because I had a very demanding coach. But it was really, it, it really showed up in college. Um, and so, so I can, I can really, I can feel what the young ladies are going through. You know, certain times of the season, season can get long and you, it goes through the cycles. You have your ups and your downs, your ups and your downs. And sometimes you need help getting back up. Um, you know, at the beginning of the season, everyone is hyped up, ready to get things started. And then as things go, as, as things start and uh, the season go on, things happen. You know, you may be a starter and you're, back, you're on the bench or you may be a bench rider trying to get off that bench, trying to be the, the top six man or the first six man off the bench, you know, or whatever the situation is. And so I understand that you're going to go through your ups and downs. Um, during the season. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to create a video and you know, I, I just, I just want to help. I mean, if you've been on my, my list, if you're one of my weekly readers, um, if you've been reading my articles, you've seen my videos, um, you've been on my blog, uh, you know, if you've been around me, um, for a while, for a while, you know, you, you, you feel me, you know that I want to help. Um, this is, this is something I've been wanting to do for years. Um, you will not imagine over, oh, probably over 20 years ago, not 20, over 12 years ago, you know, this passion really longer than that. When I first got to college, that's when that passion hit me that I wanted to help, that I want to, you know, if the things that I'm learning now in college, I want to be able to, if I pass that on to people in, in high school, in junior high school, how much far ahead they will be. And, and the mindset part, the attitude part is one of them. And so I was so happy that when I sent that email out asking, what can I do? What help do you need? I was so happy to get the feedback that I was getting because it opens up my mind and lets me know what you're going through. You know, it reminds me what I went through. Believe me, I went through the same thing. Went through some of the same things that you're going through. So it's, it's nothing really new. And you know, now I'm older, I'm wiser, and I'm able to pass this information on to you. And so basically, let me get my, my notes right here, um, some of my notes. And so basically what I wanted to call this, help me get my mind right. You know, help me get my r mind right for this situation, for this time of the season. You know, Patosha, help me get my mind right. You know, and I read um, the emails and, and, and it was touching because, like I said, I feel you because I went through some of the same things. I was in some of the same situations, you know, just looking through it. I was in some, believe me, I was in some of the same situations. Um, you know, you're getting down on yourself, the negativity, uh, your coach yelling at you. Woo, believe me, I went through that. I had one of the, I felt was one of the hardest coaches in high school. Um, confidence, you need to hit confidence when you're shooting. You're probably in a shooting slump. So hey, I know how you feel, and and I wanna I'm gonna give you some tips um, to help you get through that. Okay, so just hang in there with me. Um, confidence need conf you may need confidence in your offense. Um, so let's let's just I just wanna help you get through some of these situations. Um, so basically, let's see what is one of the first things I want. One of the, I guess one of the first things I would recommend that you do is go talk to your coach. Go talk to your coach um, and let them know what you are going through, what you are feeling. Um, they probably already know or they may not know. Um, and just go talk to your coach and just let them make them aware of what's going on, what how you're feeling, 
um, the situation you're in. Um, that's that's one of the first things that I would do. Just make your coach aware of it. And and if you can't talk to your head coach, talk to your assistant coach. You know, talk to the one that you're comfortable with. Um, yeah, but at, I know in high school and in college we had several coaches. You know, we had a head coach and then I had assistant coaches that I went and talked to. I know especially when I went from my sophomore year into my junior year, um, I kind of struggled because my sophomore year, no one really knew about me. That was my first year in high school. And so I was like the second leading scorer in a city. So when I got to become a junior, uh, my, my numbers went down because people were defending me more. They knew about me. They were defending me. And so I went to a coach and it actually, it wasn't a coach on, it wasn't one of my high school coaches. It was actually what my AAU coach. Um, I spoke to my AAU coach and I told him about my concerns. So that's another tip. If you can't talk to someone in your staff, talk to a former coach or another coach, you know, that you're comfortable with, you know, not, not a competing coach, but someone that you're comfortable with talking to. And so I, I talked to him and let him know how I was feeling, what I was going through. I'm struggling. My numbers are not as high. And basically he told me, he said, you know, you got to focus on doing something different. Focus on doing something different. So I was known as a shooter. Um, a three-point shoot. I had one of the nicest shots. You know, I, you know, I had one of the nicest shots out there. Um, but so basically, he told me to focus on something different. And so I focused on penetrating. You know, I focused on um, my free throws. You focused on, you know, just different aspects of the game. There's a lot of different aspects of the game that I can focus on. And to be honest, my numbers went down. And, and another thing, I was changing positions. I went from a shooting guard, and now I was playing more in the post. I was playing more of a small forward role, so it was. It would. I mean, we had. It was almost like we had four guards on the court. So that was that was a different too, um, for me. But basically, I went from a shooting guard to somewhat of a four, because I was like one of the tallest. I was probably the tallest guard, and so that would move me more in the paint. And then we had more help on the perimeter. Um, but so I struggled with that. But like I was saying, my shooting numbers went down, but my other numbers increased to a certain extent. I added more stats to my game, so I added. Um, more rebounding to my game. So, uh, and then of course, then I was a, I could I was still and I had assists stuff like that. But so it added more to my game. It increased my you know my statistics. So that's a, that's one tip I want you know so, something for you. Talk go talk to a coach. If you can't talk to your head coach, talk to your assistant coach. If you can't talk to your assistant coach, just talk to another coach like your your summer coach, AAU coach. Just somebody that you're comfortable talking to. Uh, let me see, what's another, the second thing I want you to do? Um, the second thing, and this is especially, this will help if you're in a slump, uh, you're, you're, you're losing confidence in your shooting, uh, things like that, losing confidence, rebounding, whatever aspect of it that you're losing confidence in, I would recommend that you go do, go do something extra in the gym. Okay, so basically, go before practice, or go stay extra after practice and work on it. Okay, so work extra in the gym. That'll help you get out of your slump, help you, give you a little bit more energy, pump you up a little bit more, um, get that confidence back in your shooting or whatever you're not confident in. And I have another story. Um, when I was in college, um, I believe it was my junior year, I, I got in a slump. Um, and so basically what I did, especially this happened during the Christmas break, um, in college, um, when you have your break in college, uh, you basically have like, uh, what's about three weeks off from school. You have an extended period, a little bit longer than high school and middle school or junior high school. So basically, we don't have any classes, but we still have to practice during that time period. So what I would do, I would go in extra and work on my shooting. And believe me, it, it, it helped out tremendously. It helped out so much that my playing time increased, that I ended up getting myself a starting position, that my energy was there. I was a lot more positive. I was pumped up. I was ready. And so that's what I would recommend that you do. Go work extra in the gym right now. If you can't get there early, stay late. Um, either way, just go work extra. If you have to work on, go extra on Saturdays or Sundays, do what you have to do to get that extra time. And that'll help you with your confidence and your shooting or whatever in conditioning. Go work extra. Do some extra sprints. Whatever you have to do. Okay? Um, uh, let's see. Number four. I mean, number three. A third thing that I would recommend that you would do. 
positive affirmations. Now, what are affirmations? Po affirmations are basically statements. It's what you say. Um, and there, there's a saying, uh, what proceed, uh, well, I don't want to say that. Uh, but basically, it, you have to be positive. Um, like I read, um, read in some of the emails that, you know, um, you're getting down on yourself. You're thinking negative. Your coach is getting down on you. Coach is yelling at you, getting on you, and it's making you just go in within yourself, and you're feeling sad, and you're down. And so what I would recommend that you do is, is write down some positive affirmations. Write down some positive statements, okay? And what are some of the positive statements that you can say? I wrote a, a couple of down. Say, I can do it. I can do it. Just think about it. Just say it right now. Just think about what you're, you're struggling with. Um, you know, whatever's going on, and just say, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. And just think about how that motivates you. I can do it. I can do it. Just just see how I'm starting to get excited. So <laughs> thinking I can do it. But just, I can do it. That's a positive affirmation. I am a leader. I am a leader. Um, I am a winner. I am a winner. So whatever you're saying, whatever is making you down, whatever you're thinking negative about, just flip it. Ooh, I'm just spitting. <laughs> flip it into something positive. Flip it into something positive and say it. And so what you have to do, say it. Visualize it. Write it down. Write it in your notebook. Write it on a, a sticky note, a post-it note. Put it in your locker. Wherever you go, um, like when you're getting ready for practice and you're going to your um in your locker and you're about to change clothes, have it right there. Read it. I can do it. I'm a leader. I'm a winner. I can do it. Okay? That's what you have to do. Those positive affirmations. When you're thinking negative, flip it into something positive, and then you're ready. Say it when you get up in the morning. I can do it. Put it on that mirror. Put it on your mirror in your bedroom, in your bathroom, and just say it. I can do it. I'm a winner. I'm a leader. All right? That's what you have to do. Um, another thing, I, I, got an, um, I looked at an email where someone talked about how, how you know they're always they're getting down because they're making mistakes um, and they're afraid of making mistakes and and you know that 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 hurt me um, a little in high school also because I had a coach that stayed on me. I mean he if it was another teammate's fault he blamed it on me. If I if it, if if I did it he blamed it on me. I mean I couldn't get away with anything. And so I can feel you when when you say a coach is yelling at you, getting on you, and some coaches are like especially. You know, I was I was the star, um, and it's not that I'm bragging on myself, but I was the star um, in, 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 in wherever I played, in, in junior high school and in high school. And so my coach stayed on me. He was on me worse in high school because I was the star. And, 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 and some coaches, it depends on their philosophy, but I believe my coach did it because, you know, some, some stars seem like they get that star treatment. Some of those players, you know, the, the leaders or whatever get that star treatment, and it hurt the team. So I felt that my coach, he did it so it would not. You know, because if the people who weren't stars, they looked at me and see that I was getting what I was getting, you know, it, it, it wouldn't be no animosity towards me. So some coaches may be like that. I don't know. I, I'm saying that's how my coach was. I guess that's how he was. Um, but don't be, but, but basically make a long story short, because he was yelling at me all the time and saying this and saying that, it made me afraid to make mistakes. It really did, and, and I was out there thinking so much and thinking so much, afraid of making mistakes. But, long story short, do not, do not be afraid to make a mistake. Do not be afraid to make mistakes, because the mistakes that you make, make you learn from it and make you strong and make you a better player. So don't be afraid of making a mistake. We are human. We're going to make a mistake. And, and P, yeah, in, in a game of sports, the coach is going to get on you. That's their job. The people in the stands are going to yell at you and say whatever they got to say. It doesn't matter. Do not be afraid of making a mistake. You're going to make mistakes. Just make up for it on the next play. And, and you, it, you have to erase it because the game goes on. There's another game to play. Whatever. All right? Do not be afraid of making mistakes. Okay? And um, also, I received an email that said, how do I get my mind right for a game? How do I get my mind right for a game? And so basically, I came up with some ways for you, you know, for you to, to get your mind right for a game. Um, first thing is to listen to music. Um, we have, in, in, in sports, that seemed to be the thing to do. Listen to music, uh, and it depends on 
what is coming for you. Um, some people, like uh, some people, may listen to rap. Some people may listen to you know whatever, just that fast-paced music, high bass, uh, you know, fast-paced music. Or some people may listen to slow music, more mellow music. It, it depends on you. You know what 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 do you like? What what are you tr are you trying to calm down a little, or are you trying to get hyped up for the game? But I would recommend that you do listen to some music, okay? Um, go to a quiet area. I was the type of player that I, I had to leave campus. I had to get away from my teammates. You know, I took this thing a little, I probably took it too serious. <laughs> but um, I had to get away. I had to go by myself and, and just get calm. Yeah, I listened to my music, but, but that was right before the game. You know, I was listening to my music, but as soon as school was out, I would go off, and fortunately, my grandmother lived right around the corner from the school, so I would walk over to my grandmother's house. She had me a little snack waiting for me, and then I would take a nap. And, you know, in, in the walk over to the house and the walk back, you know, was calming to me and, and getting me mentally prepared for the game. Or if I, if I didn't leave school and go over to my grandmother's house, I would go up into the bleachers, just got away from my teammates, you know, go up in the bleachers or go into a corner in the locker room and just get my mind right for the game. So I recommend that you try that also. Another thing is visualizations. Um, you can go, go to an area by yourself and close your eyes and just visualize you going through your shooting. Visualize yourself on the free throw line, what your routine on the free throw line. Visualize yourself making this play. Visualize your plays for the game. Those are the things that you need to do to get your mind right for a game. That's what I recommend that you do. And so basically, uh, I guess that that that's about it. You know, that's about it with the help me get my mind right. Okay, help me get my mind right. Those are the, the, the tips, the tricks, the techniques that I recommend that you do to get your mind right for the game or for the situation that you're in. Whatever to help you build your confidence and get your level, your self-esteem, your self-confidence back up and, and going for you. And so, you know. You know, I was so happy, and to be honest, this is my first time doing this, and 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 I and I love it. I love what I just did. I love the information I was able to give to you. I hope that it was helpful. Helpful. You may not be able to use everything that I just told you. Maybe just that one thing that I just told you that will help you with what you're going through. But I hope what I just gave you will help you get your mind right. Help you get your attitude right help you get your mindset right, help you get your confidence right and back up, and help you move, get you moving forward in your basketball career right now, your basketball season right now, for your next game, whatever's going through. I hope I'm able to help you get your mind right. All right, this is Patosha Jeffrey, and I look forward to hearing you, getting your emails, um, your responses, um, whatever, your, your, your messages through Facebook, through Twitter, whatever, just send me the information that you need and I like I said I hope this information was extremely useful for you all right so I'll see you next time on the next uh web video series or whatever I'm gonna call this but I hope this was very 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 helpful for you take care